Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering the extended drop that we are still seeing here on Bitcoin and where we are likely to see a reverse win this downtrend uh, and some targets I've got going forward and I will also mention Ren at the end which has just been an absolute beast so I have to cover that. <laughs> um, so yeah, hope that you enjoyed today's video and let's start by just reviewing the RSI that we can see here on the four hour chart. This is the lowest the RSI has been since November 2018. So this is of really really extended RSI uh, what one could argue is that that is hidden bullish divergence obviously a higher low on price and a lower low on RSI so you have got hidden bullish divergence going on here and obviously just the case that you're extremely oversold one would expect a relief bounce to occur could this be the end of the relief bounce I guess I'd wait to see for a close over 150 before really saying at the moment uh, as much so obviously since our last video we were sat around 10 5 i think uh, but obviously then yesterday i put out this tweet saying let's dump it let's get through this support uh which was obviously the monthly level so that was yet posted yesterday at 10200 wanting this to finally break down the monthly and obviously first target being the weekly and as you can see, what happened, we dumped straight through that monthly, which was very nice, giving a nice 5% move down to our weekly level, which was obviously where this morning I posted saying, if we are going to get an oversold bounce, it's it's got to happen now. And that was obviously posted at 9.6. Then we got that move up to 10.1. So overall, the predictions have played, played pretty well today. That's not I'm not going to lie. Uh, obviously, yeah, that nice move down. And look at that long lower wick. So you could call this a dragonfly doji candle straight onto the weekly showing that that is a giant sign of strength. OK, you generally would see this at the end of a downtrend. Uh, if you whether you would class this a hammer dragonfly doji. Generally, at the end of a downtrend, you see that onto a level of support, okay, wick slightly below the support, come back up and close. You would expect to see some follow through. So far, we have only followed through, not strongly at all, in my opinion, uh, just to the uh, 236 fib, which is obviously uh, 10,150 slash that monthly level, um, which has now flipped slightly into resistance, okay. Uh, really, I'd, I would prefer to see a bigger cool off, either hang here sideways before another move down or even a retrace to 10, 5, 10. That would be a, an amazing if we could retrace to, to 11K, uh, but taking it one step at a time. Uh, but overall, one has to be looking at this chart, in my opinion, still bearishly. So my original, uh, you know, viewpoint of this coming down lower, okay, I would obviously take this one step at a time. I wouldn't go all in on the trade and just hold till target. Uh, like today, you know, take profits when you come down to weekly, you know, support levels, etc., etc., etc. You know, tr manage your trade on the way down as you would up. Um, but yeah, I definitely am looking at this as a very bearish rejection. ABC and the W, ABC and the X, and they're going to come down for another ABC. Um, you know, looking at this for a WXY correction, basically. Um, so yeah, that's my viewpoint. Unless we get a close over eleven four, pretty much. Uh, looking at this as as a bearish chart. Um, although you are on support, okay. So I would I would prefer to obviously see a move back up here, reload up on some shorts, get a little bit of a relief rally going on here. Uh, which then would hopefully give some space to some alts to move, which have, they have they have started to move generally okay today. Obviously, the number one being Ren. Oh my God, this was just like number one call EU. Uh, looking at this, the, literally the wick under the 6.5, literally the wick under the GP golden profit right there. And this was one that I posted out for the ch uh, contenders and champions yesterday. Uh, literally giving my chart of the week saying three laggard, three laddered longs into the daily entry just below the 6.5 of the golden pocket. What did we get? The move just below the 6.5 of the golden pocket. Uh, so apologies for... Uh, clout trade chasing that but that was a really really nice call this setup was just really nice like literally low to high coming straight onto the just the wick of that golden pocket um yeah that that's a over a 20 percent move right there that's literally an over a 20 percent bounce literally hitting last entry perfectly uh so that made me and the guys in the team i guess very happy um seeing that move today um but yeah moving back to bitcoin uh i would just say that on the short term I, I personally would prefer to see more of a relief rally coming on here. This is a really weak, weak relief rally. It's not really called off any RSI. If you come and look over here on the four hours still, we're still sat down coming back up to the four hour. We are still down in the 28s. So we are still technically oversold. Um, but one could imagine 30 possibly comes back and acts as resistance now. And we do stay in oversold. Obviously, you don't need to go straight out of oversold. You can hang in. You can stay in oversold conditions for a long time. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go up. Um, but, you know, you have got that hidden bullish divergences being oversold onto a weekly level. One would expect, a, hopefully, a bit more of a bounce here. Uh, but if not, never mind. Um, and, yeah, we'll just view this as a, a rejection from the 236. Um, so I would really say your key resistance now is going to be the 382 because that's 
what Bulls are going to at least try and get up to, I'd imagine, with the, obviously, then you've got the four-hour EMA coming down here as well. That would be my next uh, viewpoint for looking to take a trade off of. I don't really need to manage my position as it is at the moment. So I would manage it if we come up to the straight two or if we come that back down and lose that weekly in a close below 9.5. So yeah, those are the real key regions. About a $1,000 range where we could even move, just move sideways in this range. Don't move sideways in there for a bit. But I would really be looking now for a close underneath the weekly or above the 382 before I began to manage my Bitcoin trades. Uh, and I would just, yeah, be trading alts on the sideline. Obviously, Dusk is looking like really sweet. You've got uh, her basic attention token bouncing off of the daily today. So you got basic attention. You know, you've got a few different, obviously, Ren in there, Icon in there, uh, Komodo with a small move link in there. Like, you know, you've got some nice alts um, overall. Uh, but yeah, Bitcoin's taking the star of the show. Um, obviously, I've, I've actually been trading the stock market quite a bit recently, especially the volatility index. Uh, just like there's so much volatility in all markets at the moment. If you like commodities and gold, oil, like there's just been so much volatility. It's just been absolutely perfect like all markets i've just been kept uh pretty busy over the last 24 hours since coming back from holiday if i'm honest so i absolutely love it i absolutely love it um uh, yeah for me it's like a dream to trade these markets when they're so volatile <laughs> perfect uh but yeah that's what i'm looking at on bitcoin hope that's helped you i will leave you with this um little little bit of a don't be fooled post that uh, i i thought was pretty funny or interesting uh ways that you you can just pause and read this but i thought this was um yeah, eye-opening, I guess, uh, of how you should look to use your money and invest it for your future, not just uh, try and impress others, I guess. Um, something that I try and live by. Um, but yeah, hope that you have enjoyed this update. These are obviously quicker updates, just giving you the key information. And uh, yeah, not wasting your time, not wasting my time, just giving you that key info. Um, I hope that you enjoy this this quick update. Um, as you could probably appreciate, I'm like super busy. So I <laughs> uh, hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for the support. Honestly, it means a lot. Every comment, every like, really, really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and uh, the, tick the little bell so you don't miss another video in the future. Um, because, yeah, the predictions so far are going very well. As standard, I guess, for me. <laughs> not to brag, not to brag. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.